do it. Okay, it's gonna do it. Okay, talk. Okay, this is my grandson, this and he's gonna show tell you about what he made today. I made this cat by myself, and I draw the cat black, but his eyes are gone and his nose. So, Brahma just got the Google eyes. Yeah, we, we punched out some eyes. So, what color did you put the pumpkin? Orange, light orange. And what color is his hat? It's blue and the and his head green. But I draw a little black spot out. Okay, so it's got a green top. And then what's his name? Jeffrey. Here, hold it over here so they can see. Right there. And how are you going to use this? What are you going to do with it? Put on my neck. Yeah, you're going to have it like a necklace, huh? Yeah, and look at this carrot I made. What's that? It's a carrot. Carrot out of Lego. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Say thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Okay, go play now. And look at this arrow. <laughs> okay, all right, now Grandma's going to show. Okay? Okay. All right, bye. I'll, I'll get you when I'm finished. Here. Can I see the video? After. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, I wanted to share a few things. First, my sis Sybil sent me this beautiful Get Well card. Look how gorgeous. And I have gotten well. I am doing so much better. Very little pain. And I see the doctor Monday. No, not right now. And, um... This really, okay, no, no. This really helped me feel good. So thank you so much, sis. I love it. Chat. No, no. You're going to have to leave if you can't behave, okay? Mm -hmm. And I worked on some tiles today because I was not happy. I showed the other day these. And I used the melting pot with these. And I hate how they look all bumpy and yucky. So I used my glossy accents on some and I used this light thing is not good uh, some I used that diamond glass glaze that I showed so I think these are all with the um, diamond glass like that. so this one is a Halloween tag and I put a bird die cut on there on top of the paper and then put the glue and I like how this came out. See, it's not all bumpy and icky like those others. And then it has paper on the back. And then this one is from my collection I had, I don't know if it's a year or two years now, the but Alice, wait, wait, Alice in Wonderland for Halloween. What do you want, honey? I want to tell about all the stuff what you draw to. Well, okay, in a minute. So this one, even though it's glossy accents, I'm still getting a few bubbles. So I figure, well, if I'm going to get bubbles with glossy accents, why not just use the other one that's cheaper? So this one is with that, and I'll get it in, in a second. Let's see if you can get it for me. You see that purple bottle with the white pointed top? Yeah. Can you bring me that? Okay, you show them. Say, this is what Grandma used. This Come over here. This over here. This is what Brown would use to do it. Yeah, it's called Diamond Glaze. So, just as well as the Glossy Accent makes bubbles, this one does too. But this is a lot cheaper. So, I'm going to stick with this. And it dries faster too. So, isn't this cute? This yeah. is the same one he did. But because he made his cat black, we had to add new eyes to it because it was just sort of all black. But he did a really good job, didn't you? Yeah. And then this one is with glossy accents, but I used my pens from Stampin' Up and see how it like soaks through the ink. So you gotta use either the Momento or the um, Stays On ink. Now I colored this with Copics and it stayed just fine. No, I, I used Copics and I used my Bic markers. Because he used, with his, he used the Bic markers. And see, it, it does hold well. It will not 
smear and fade like other markers do. So you can use your Bix or you can use your Copix. So these are really fun. So I'm making a bunch of Halloween ones since Halloween is coming up. And I'm going to make my grandson a book so we can keep track of what he did for Halloween. So I hope you like my new little tiles and his wonderful creation. And we're going to work on a mask. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.